Hello everybody, it's the uh, 4th of July today, so happy Independence Day to anyone viewing from the States. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, we're back here looking at the forest I created this spring. Um, as you can see, it's growing very well. Um, some of the trees have put on nearly a foot of growth. Um, some of the trees in the middle suffered a bit during that really hot weather um, that we had in the sort of late springtime but for the most part the trees are all looking very healthy um, did have an infestation of a uh, mealy bug and in fact they got several of my beaches um, there's the remains of those after I sprayed them um, so yeah, I had that to deal with, and I've just been letting the trees grow on uh, and fill the pot, really. I'm just now not really going to do a huge amount of work um, to these trees. I think, I think what I'm going to be doing is just trimming back some of the extra excess growth um, in readiness for um, doing some more detailed work over the winter time um, the trees are beginning to firm up quite nicely in the pot although if you try and give each trunk a jiggle you can plainly see by the movement in the forest floor that uh, they're moving as single entities not a solid solid lump as yet so what I'm looking to do is just shorten back some of these trees. Um, that will probably need to be wired. But again, I will strip these trees of leaves in the winter um, and see what needs to be done. So this is like a rough prune rather than a, a structural type of prune just to bring the trees back keep them bushy um, here for example where I have a nice fairly straight trunk uh, then it goes off at one angle I'm going to chop it here so that uh, this will become the new leader um, though even that will be chopped also shortening off some of the branches down low that I'll probably get rid of in the finished article for example down here I want to be able to see these trunks um, eventually when the trees are more formed um, I will want to clear out the whole of the understory essentially so that uh, I can look down the garden at the group and see through to the other side um, that's kind of my ambition with it maybe a bit too ambitious some might say um, but that's okay you know you've got to have some ambition sometimes what I'm doing is kind of feeling for each tree in turn um, I'm trying to create uh, that's one tree uh, but this is going back into other trees I'm going to remove that like so um, so that means that those are still kind of in essence two separate trees um, and I want to go through the whole of the forest kind of doing that where trees overlap as they wouldn't in nature bringing them back 
I don't know if I can ever pull this off if I've got too many trees in here. Memory serves at something like 35 trees. It was just a bunch of trees that I had in pots um, that I'd grown from seed and thought I could do something with those. And then I was given this large pot by my wife for Christmas. Um, and honestly, she had no thought in her head above and beyond. He'll like that. It's a lovely pot. And she was right. I like it. It's a lovely pot. Then I had to find something to fill it, of course. Um, so, but there are worse problems to have, right? Yet another one of those little interruptions to your uh, normal video. This is the Oak Fusion Project. Um, and uh, I was just going to let it grow this year, mainly. But I have this one shoot, which is growing out from the side. Um, just going gangbusters for the sky. And uh, I want to get some of that energy back into this apex here. Um, raveling into this side shoot so I'm just it's the 1st of July today um, I'm going to shorten that by quite a chunk um, but that'll help make this the apical dominant shoot um, we have another one here that's trying to do the same um, so again I'm going to shorten that And one more. Let's also, in fact, there's two more here. Let's just go with that one and that one that are trying um, to become dominant. And uh, I want this one, which I've wired into place to be the the leader. So, yeah, that's all the work I'm going to do to that tree. Um, for now, at least, any other shoots start putting their head up too high. And they'll get the chop too. Uh, back to your regular video you thought you were watching. I'm just going to continue on chopping away. I'll speed up the film so you don't have to listen to me um, talking too much dribble. Lost me scissors. That's better. Okay, so I'm beginning to build up a canopy of trees. Um, obviously, going to want to try and eventually have tallest at the front um, and tapering away to the back. Um, I don't think I'm going to chop out that there. Yeah, um, and I'm at the moment I seem to have a slightly higher here um, and so it may become uh, almost a, a triangle in that dimension um, this has got a long way to go to become a convincing forest but if I move the camera down a minute hopefully you can begin to see the um, some of what I meant about trying to bear the trunks so that you can actually envisage yourself uh, walking through there's my little my little model coop who slunk off indoors 
because it's drizzling and I'm not paying him enough attention. Um, but romping through the woods, you can see that there's a there's not a deep dark woods. There's an exit uh, that you can easily find from wherever you are within the woods, and gradually we'll begin to increase that with the trees so that uh, you can see through them um, which will give you that dark canopy that you often get in a extensive beech forest um, but with some an element of lightness um, so that it's not a deep dark foreboding place where you wouldn't want to go walk the dog etc as I say I'll probably put a bit of wire on that know from time to time I'm going to trim this up if I see something I think is out of place but for the most part that's all the work I'm going to do to this tree If I just uh, pan down to the floor here, you can see I've cut off uh, a fair old chunk of foliage, but the trees still look full and uh, lush. Hopefully they will throw out some uh, more new growth. Um, they may get another trim, they may not, um, and then I will strip all the leaves once uh, we get to sort of November, December, maybe January time, um, so that we can clearly see the structure of the trees and do some more structural pruning then. I could hear at least one of you saying, stop talking about it Sid, if you're going to wire it, wire it. So here we go, a little bit of wire. Anchor it there. Uh, can't miss that leaf, so I'm going to just remove it. Uh, and that one's going to be a bit of a pain, but oh, I got it. Okay, so. straight trunk. I don't want a straight trunk. Um, most beeches growing in a forest situation uh, are proper convoluted. They will twist and turn around each other fighting for the light. Um, I'm actually not happy at all with this piece now. So I'm gonna remove that entirely. Do it quick uh, before I change my mind. A bit like taking a plaster off. Nah. Do it quickly, it only hurts for a second. Okay, here's a quick catch up of the skinny hornbeam. Um, as you can see, it's growing out well from its last trim. And, uh, I just want to give it a quick trimming up. Uh, not enough to really make a video of its own, so I will just slip this in to another project. Um, but basically, not being too finesseful with it. Um, it's just chopping back some of this new growth to the shape of the tree that I want. Um, it'll need some proper tidying up in the autumn. 
but this will hopefully induce some further shooting and um, stop these sub branches getting longer and longer and leggier and leggier which obviously um, is not what is needed at this point in its development. I'm going to leave it slightly longer here at the back um, just because it is, as I said, it's a skinny little hornbeam. Um, from now on realistically it'll be a case of every time I see one of these long shoots starting to come out just nipping it back um, continuing to promote a bit of that bushiness that we want uh, also at the same time keeping it back into you know its overall outline its overall shape Now eventually, yeah, as I say, come the come the autumn, come the winter, what well, will be a small problem. And I'll be I'll have branches that are possibly crossing or going in the wrong direction. Um, but they can be sorted out. I can take all the foliage off the tree. Um, hornbeam's not always losing them naturally, but I can take the foliage off and uh, see what's what and do a bit of refining then I have got some wire on this tree and it is starting to bite in so I'm going to take that off before it gets any worse um, but it looks like that branch is holding anyway, so that's good. Okay, so that's it for the skinny hornbeam. Back to your regular project. I don't want it to look like um, the sort of trees you see in uh, a plantation where the trees are grown as a crop with the, the express intention of getting long straight trunks that can be cut into long straight boards or joists or whatever. I wanted this to look more like a, a natural tree that's grown in its own way in a dense forest. Trees have self-seeded underneath and grown up through and found their own way to the light. Um, no straight lines, no trunks planted um, far enough apart to get vehicles through um, for logging etc uh, it's just a more natural feel okay so quick 360 there's a whopping great big spider in there that can help clear out all the remnants of the mealybug if there's missed any or left any behind please I've got a new stand for this tree to to go on where it'll get light from all all angles which are hopefully will help it grow well and strong um, so we'll put it back on there in a moment and I'll insert a picture and in the meantime thank you all for watching in these tricky times please 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 take care of yourselves Stay safe.